And we're back in studio with me is Donnie Most. We grew up with him as Ralph Mouth on Happy Days. One thing I bet you did know about him, he's an excellent singer. And you have a show coming up at the Catalina Bar and Grill. Tell us yeah. about that. Yeah, I've, I've performed at Catalina Bar and Grill now three times. It's a wonderful uh, sort of old school jazz club um, in Hollywood on Sunset. And um, this coming, the one coming up is on December 21st and it's going to be uh, called a swinging christmas because we're going to have 17 wonderful jazz musicians up there and it's going to like real live musicians like playing instruments like like with their hands without a synthesizer <laughs> oh yeah the the trumpets the trombones the saxes you know the bass uh, um, and i love i love that sound uh, when you have a big band that can really swing is it's it's exciting it's do really exciting do you go exciting. into a zone when you're on stage oh big time i do go into a zone. I, sometimes I feel like I'm levitating. When, when I hear that music, it's, it's like nothing else. And um, so we're going to be doing a lot of Christmas stuff, but a lot of other songs from my upcoming CD, which is called The Most, Mostly Swinging. It comes out in February. So we'll be doing some of that and some of the Christmas songs that are on my Christmas EP called Donnie Most Swinging Down the Chimney. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a nasty little Santa baby song. One of them little Santa baby. Remember Eartha Kitt when I she love. was saying that? Santa baby, just bring it on the chimney tonight. <laughs> she made it sound so nasty. She did, but but sexy. It was, so, it, was, sexy. Yeah. It, it was it was that sensuality. Oh yeah. And now it's like you know the music now is just all like you know, butt banging and boot oh, knocking and there's no imagination. They just show everything. Yeah, we know what we look like underneath, but <laughs> can you give me some imagination? Know, can you give me some flavor? Yeah, that makes it even more sexy when it's left to the imagination. And you right? gotta think and you can make put, make your mind think any kind of thing that you want. That's right. And have your own fan to baby. Now, as an <laughs> actor and a director and a singer, what have been some of your biggest challenges in this industry and how do you overcome them and how did you overcome them yeah well i'd say probably the the biggest challenge which is may i don't know you know first getting started was certainly a challenge but then when you get identified with a, a show and a character that is so that became such a big hit and an iconic piece of television then you know there's the tendency that you get uh, typecast and then you have to break away from that character and that was a very big challenge for me. Um, to some degree it's still ongoing because people still remember that. But and they're showing reruns probably everywhere in the world in like 47,000 different yeah. languages. Now luckily, I mean luckily and unluckily I got older. I don't <laughs> know which is... But, and, and so there's more distance and time from it. So I've been doing more and more things. Mm -hmm. I did a recurring role on Glee and, um, and, and a lot of other guest roles and some independent films. One that just came out called Follow. So um, it's, you know, I'm, I'm really enjoying the fact that I'm getting to play different kinds of characters, mm -hmm. which is what I always wanted. It just took getting older to make it happen a little so more readily. We're not readily. older, we're more seasoned. More daughter. seasoned. Yes, we got more flavor. We, oh, you yeah, know, more we character. Have, yeah, we got more character. Yeah, that's what it is. It's character. A lot more character. I, I look at the mirror now. Are you, are you fascinated with how you are and the, your longevity in the business? Yeah, I, I guess so. I mean, I, maybe sometimes I don't appreciate that as much as I should because there's so much more I want to do. Mm. And, and, I, and, and you I, kind of, don't you kind of start, sort of like feel like you, you really haven't scratched the surface? That's and what you feel exactly. like, okay, Happy Days was like 100 yeah. years ago. Okay, yes. okay, yeah, and what? So you're not one to rest on your laurels. Oh, absolutely not. Exactly what you said. I feel like I've only scratched the surface. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. And the music is now giving, is, is, I'm starting to scratch a little more. Mm -hmm. And um, hopefully some of these film projects I'm trying to get going. And uh, with the acting, I, I have so much more I want to do. When you talk about so much more you want to do, what do you want to do? Let's put, let, let me just throw some other little fairy dust on you. Tell me what it is you want. Well, I, want to, I would love to do great film and TV projects playing a wide variety of different kinds of characters, all different. And then I would love to be, um, and directing some of these projects I want to do. And then on the singing side, I just want to keep doing this, having it grow, record more, and get to sing um, in bigger venues, maybe with symphony, like with a, I love the big band, let's go even bigger with a, a symphony. 
So and, you yeah. have, and haven't even scratched the surface. Yeah. And see, I, I, the wonderment in your face is like talking to a kid. Yeah. You're like on Christmas morning, you're like, oh, let me tell you about this person I got mother on, and I want to do this, and I want to do that. And I think it's yeah. wonderful. Tell people how they can come to your show on December 21st. Oh, the 21st, Catalina's Jazz uh, Bar and Grill. And um, it's, I don't know what time. It's a Wednesday night. <laughs> uh, we'll find out what time. Probably 7.30 or 8. Um, and uh, I know, I think K-Earth, it's, it's gonna, we're going to be benefiting some Parkinson's charities. So um, K-Earth has agreed they're going to get on there and, and give away some tickets. That's and really so wonderful. And we'll get it out there. And you just let us know how we can be of service. It's yeah. always good to see you, my dear. Oh, oh great to much see you. love to you. Give my love to Morgan and the girls. Thank you. And babies, always remember, no matter how big or tall, short or small, thick or thin, it matters not what skin you're in. Everybody needs some other love now and then, even Donnie Moe. That's right. Peace, babies. Peace.